start your own Airbnb business na hindi niyo papukusan? Kayo ba ay unit owner na maraming tanong? Kung paano ba talaga ang process ng Airbnb condo rentals? Ikaw ba ay newly turnover unit owner na nag-iisip kung ano bang mas maganda, long term or daily rental business? Kayo din ba yung mga buyers na newly reserved unit owners or mga nasa down payment stage pa lang na ang aim is to have that property rental business in the future? Or ikaw ba yung unit owner na naka-turnover na pero hindi naman satisfy sa mga long-term rate at gusto rin itry yung daily rentals? Or kayo yung mga unit owner na walang nag-aasikaso ng unit? And sa mga nakaranas na mag-Airbnb and staycation na nagkaroon ng idea na ah, pwede rin pala ito maging business natin and nagbabalak na na bumili ng another condominium. Para kayo rin naman yung kumita. Kaya this vlog is perfect for you. Kaya tapusin mo to. This will help you. Again, this is Miss Abby to give you more idea how to start an Airbnb business. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel. mga furnishing sa Airbnb. Paano ba magsisimula? Sino ba mag-handle ng unit ko? Ano ba yung mga requirements na kailangan? Magkano kaya yung kitaan? Paano ba mamomonitor yung mga guests? Paano din pag may na-damage o nawala sa unit ko? And paano yung mga bills and everything and how can I get that income? Alam ko sobrang dami pang tumatakbo dyan sa isip nyo. Kaya ito na ang sagot sa lahat ng yan. So sit back, relax, and watch. Hello unit owners and congratulations to your newly turned over unit. Once the key is with you, the first step is of course to furnish your unit. Pwede kayo mamili kung basic furniture or fully interior yung unit natin. For basic furnishing, no, ito yung para sa mga unit na nagbabalak na mga long term or yung tinatawag nilang staff house. Then, fully interior unit naman kung ang balak nyo is a daily rental, staycation, or Airbnb. And don't worry if you don't have any interior design na mag-handle ng unit nyo. We can refer you to our very own J Project. Please watch this video to know more about our trusted furnishing partner, J Project. This is the only interior company that offers the same day interior. Yes, pag na turn over ang unit nyo, next day pwede nyo nang ipa interior ng one day furnishing only. Pagpasok nila ng 8 a.m., paglabas nila ng gabi, tapos na ang unit nyo. Di ba, Magic? Ganyan tayo. Time is very important. Siyempre, 3K per night na natakbo na yan. And para ito sa mga clients na limited stay lang dito sa Philippines, like 1 to 2 weeks lang para lang sa turnover, this is the solution for you. Sa mga regular interior design, it will take 1 to 2 months para ma-custom interior unit nyo. Pero sa J Project, you can enjoy your unit na matagal nyo nang hinulugan. Ito na ang solution sa ating problem. Same day interior na para magamit at ma-enjoy nyo rin yung unit nyo na matagal nyong binayaran ng ilang years. J Project will give you three mood board. So we have light tone, dark tone, or tropical tone. 
This is a ready design na no need ng pag-isipan pa. Hindi na kayo ma-hassle, no, sa delivery, and hindi na rin kayo may stress sa pag-iisip. And for sure, this will give you a modern and luxurious design of your unit that will give you beautiful and Instagrammable vibe. And here's the sample of our unit with that different mood. So free design, free installation, no hassle service with the same day J Project Interior Furnishing. Mabilis at pulido pa. They master that, the one-day interior. They have a lot of clients already done. And the best thing pa, super affordable. Starting at 360,000 all in price for 24 square meter, you can get the fully interior unit. Kasama na lahat. What you see is what you get. Lightning, design, interior, furnishing, appliances, even the kitchenware and utensils. Also, the linens and towel. So, ready ready na to, as in ready for Airbnb na. So, what are you waiting for? I will put the FB link of J Project in the description below. They also cater a basic furnishing. Now, naka-interior na ang unit nyo, we can start the business. Pwede na natin i-enroll ang unit natin sa property management. SMDC has our own property management, which is the good guys. Pwedeng pwede rin tayo mag-enroll doon. But since kay J-Project kayo nagpa-interior, we can also help you in property management. Now, we have almost 14 units in Mall of Asia, 5 units in Ross Boulevard, and 6 units sa Makati na hinahandle lahat ng JPPM or J-Project Property Management. All of our unit owners are very happy na may nag-handle ng unit nila. No need for them to focus on their unit. Because they live it to the expert na may puso at very transparent and honest. We treat all units under JPPM our really own unit. We have a lots of housekeeping. you the cleanliness and satisfaction of our guests para magkaroon tayo ng good reviews. Yan naman ang inaalagaan natin sa JPPM. Ang 5-star review. So here's the proof. Plus, we have our very own, very responsive, 24 hours available super host, Mr. Kenji. He will assure you na mabilis mag-reply at mabibigay lahat ng request at concern ng guests natin. Sa Airbnb, sobrang proven and tested pag ang ating host ay very responsive at napakaraming successful booking, ang host and ang property natin, siguradong i-recommend ito ng Airbnb sa first page. Diyan naman magaling ang ating JPPM, no? ang ating property management. Kaya laging nakikita no, ang ating mga unit sa Airbnb. Na halos lahat ng unit natin ay na fully booked. And we also have our very own admin head, which is Miss Rox, that will surely handle all our guests that register ahead of time sa admin para hindi mahirapan ng ating mga guests pag pumasok or mag-check in sa ating mga units. And take note, all of the unit owners are CC through email going to admin for the guest authorization form para alam din natin and transparent lahat ng mga clients na nakabook sa ating unit. And once na-enroll nyo ang unit nyo no, sa ating JPPM, magkakaroon tayo ng group chat or GC together with the admin, host, and all the team no, nakasama sa ating property management. Para lagi tayong updated and we can communicate each other ng mabilis because we are a one team now and a business partner. Then, once na post na ang ating property sa Airbnb, you will be also a co-host. Kaya makikita nyo lahat, the calendars and yung mga nag inquire and also yung mga nakabook na sa unit nyo. So, lahat ng nangyayari sa unit nyo is makikita ninyo. And also, you can see no, kung paano, kung gano'ng kagaling ang ating super host mag-reply. May kita nyo doon how they communicate sa ating mga clients and mga guests. 
po, di ba? Lahat transparent. Kaya naman tumatagal tayo sa business kasi we are very honest and 100% alam ng lahat ng unit owners ang mga nangyayari sa unit nila. We are just handling your unit. Ang goal naman natin, syempre, is kumita yung mga unit owner na nag enroll sa atin. Okay, so next question. May mag-handle ba ng susi at magbibigay sa mga guests natin? Paano sila mag-check-in? The answer is, wala pong makikipag-meet sa client natin. Because all of the unit handle, we require that all units must be in a digital lock. Para naman, password na lang yung ibibigay natin sa mga guests natin. Parang katulad sa ibang pansa. ba diba? Pagka nag-check-in sila, only password. Yun na lang yung ipinibigay natin sa booking. So, no person involved na. Ang advantage pa nito, we can handle yung mga guests na mga madaling araw yung check-in, no? yung mga early check-in kasi yun yung flight nila. no So, ayun ang kagandahan ng digital lock. Siyempre, extra income din natin yung mga early check-in and late check-out. And the next, how much naman po yung rate natin? Sa Mall of Asia, Makati at Ross Boulevard, same lang lahat ng rate. In weekdays, we have 3,000 per night. Weekends are 3,500 per night. And mga holiday seasons, we have 3,500 per night. That rate are very competitive. Ang maganda pa sa ating super host, nagsisale din tayo. So for example, yung unit natin, wala pang guess sa mga minimum na mga days. We sell that this like for example ginagawa nating 25 or 28 no per night para at least hindi mavacant yung day na yon and all of that are reflected to our soa or statement of account every end of the month here is the sample soa so we can see that we have a cut off date for our statement of account for example it will cover the July 16 until August 15. The next SOA, September 30, will cover the August 16 going to September 15. Here's the sample SOA and then we also deduct no, all the bills and management fee which is 10% of the income and that will deposit to your local account. All bills like Meralco, Wi-Fi, Association Dues with the water bill, sinasama na rin yan, sinisend kasama yung proof of payment together with the bill para alam nyo na bayad na yung ating mga bills within that period of month. Also, kasama natin dyan lahat ng all booking calendar together with the income. Deducted the cleaning fee which is 600 pesos per cleaning. So, for example, three nights yung booking days ng guest natin, we only deduct one cleaning fee for that, which is 600 pesos together with the laundry of the linens and towels. Okay, so you really need to have your own local accounts here at the Philippines. We do not accept an international account. Next, so paano po pagka may na-damage or may nawala doon sa ating unit, mahabol pa po ba natin yun? Since all of our guests are booked on Airbnb, their cards or accounts are connected sa Airbnb app. No? So for example, may nawala or may na damage, we can report to the Airbnb and we can also uh, communicate to our guests directly na merong nasira or merong na damage no? or nawalang items. And ito po yung kailangan nilang bayaran. And they communicate properly. But in our experience, no, yung mga guests na natin, pagka meron silang nabasag or na damage, pinipicturean agad nila yun at sinesend sa host na may nasira sila or something and they really willing to pay that for the inconvenience. Mahikita naman agad yon ng ating mga cleaner upon move out of our client. Another question, sure na ba na may mag rent or magagaranti ba natin na 100% na may mag rent sa ating unit? The answer is, sa Airbnb, the business is volatile. So meaning, paiba-iba siya. Pero syempre, JPPM or Property Management of J Project is very master na namin ang handling of the units. We have our super host na lagi tayong nire-recommend ni Airbnb kasi very responsive. We have a lot of good reviews and we also have a lot of successful bookings. Kaya sure na sure na makikita ang ating uh, posted no, na mga property sa app and very Instagramable yung mga photos natin na talagang laging tayo ang napipili. At syempre, hindi naman tayo papayag at hindi natin papabayaan na walang mag sa ating unit. We also offer in other platform of social media like FB page, then also posting, and then other social media platforms. 
Pero syempre, same with other business, there is no shortcut here. So, in the beginning, hindi natin pwedeng i-expect na, ala, dapat fully book yung unit ko. No, it's not. Syempre, nagsisimula tayo, magpapakilala tayo kay Airbnb, uh, bago pa lang yung unit natin, kailangan maraming reviews, kailangan maraming successful booking, para at least talagang ma-recommend niya sa first page papatunayan natin kay Airbnb na totoo yung property natin na pinapalis. So, here's the sample of our units in Mall of Asia, Makati and Rojas Boulevard. Sa Mall of Asia, we have 17 days to 28 days per month. Sa Makati, we also have 22 days to 26 nights. Sa Ross Boulevard naman, meron tayong 15 nights hanggang 22 nights per month. Kaya naman, we are in a good hand, good location, no? And also, in a good property management handler. Kaya wala kang dapat ikabahala. Ang importante sa amin ay magkaroon ng income yung mga unit owners natin. That's our goal, na lahat ng business partner natin ay may income. And very happy. So, lahat is in the black and white, very legal, may kontrata tayo. So, you don't have any problem about it. It's a corporation, so we, we are the one handling the permits and all the taxes. No, So, you don't have any problem about it. Sana nagustuhan nyo ang video na to at nakatulong kung paano kayo magsisimula para magkaroon ng Airbnb business. And my advice to you is to enroll your unit at the expert property management. Ito yung business na no need to put more effort and time. I-wait nyo na lang yung income nyo every end of the month. And we are here to help you and to guide you to your property business. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now and get that business started. So thank you for watching and again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you! Ikaw ba ay new... Ulit. O mga ba... Ah! Mga... Paano ba magsimula? Ano ba? Paglabas nila ng gabi.